bedtime stories. The Immaculate Conception of the Barnacle Goose. Hey, Sean Best of the Bird Bros here, and tonight we have a really special story. Tonight's bird time story is about a goose. A barnacle goose. Let's take a look. The barnacle goose is a medium-sized goose found in northern coastal regions. It has a wingspan of 22 to 28 inches and weighs 2.5 to 5 pounds. This goose here, well known because of its white face, kind of looks like a Canada goose, but it's got the white face. Barnacle Goose is one of the most mysterious birds of the medieval times. But now we know lots about them, but let's pretend we're in the medieval times. This story dates back to the medieval times, when people were kind of stupid and didn't really know much about animals. So they kind of got confused when it came to how species came about. In one particular case, the Barnacle Goose, they actually thought it was derived from driftwood. The legend has it that there is a tree fabled in the north of Scotland that birds just dropped off of. And once they hit the water, they would live. If they hit the ground, they wouldn't live. These geese hung down from pieces of driftwood, like barnacles. And they were like in little tiny shells, clinging on by their beaks. It was a little wild, but there are some reasons why people thought this. The barnacle goose bears a striking resemblance to the common barnacle found on wood and old ship planks that would wash up on shore. If you look at it, even the pattern kind of looks the same. Sometimes people will get a bit mixed up and think that these barnacles found on ship planks and old pieces of wood were actually baby barnacle geese, tiny little <coughs> hanging on by their beaks. Barnacle geese breed way up north. And in England and Scotland, where this story came from, well, they didn't go that far north to see actually where the birds went in the summertime. They just saw them come down fully formed as barnacle geese. One account says that they don't breed or lay eggs or hatch from eggs. In fact, this account says that they don't have a nest in any corner of the known planet Earth. And at that time, planet Earth was kind of like known to be small, and some people thought it was flat, so who knows. Now this is where the story gets interesting. The barnacle geese, because they were neither born of flesh nor made of flesh, were accepted in parts of Ireland and Scotland as an acceptable bird to eat during the Catholic Days of Fast. So these people would eat geese when they were supposed to be fasting, because they weren't technically animals. This legend actually attracted attention from the Catholic Church, and Pope Innocent III declared that barnacle geese you couldn't eat while you're trying to fast. Because although they weren't born of flesh or made of flesh, they came from trees, that was uh, like, ate like a goose, and fed like a goose, and did things that gooses did, so they just considered it a goose, regardless of how it was made. Even the Jewish people had to chime in on this myth, saying that the barnacle goose was kosher and should be slaughtered in the same manner as any other bird. But, the legend continued. In 1435, Pope Pius II went to Britain and wrote in his book, De Europa, that there was a tree fabled in the north of Scotland that birds just dropped off of. Pope Pius II was interested in this because the Catholic Church was kind of like the scientists of the day. They made the ultimate rulings on what was what and what wasn't. So Pope Pius II decided to go up north to Scotland and find this tree. When Pope Pius II got to Scotland, he started asking the locals about this myth. 
and they knew about it. But what the locals actually wanted at that time was Just kidding! What the locals actually wanted at that time was the Pope to agree that it wasn't actually an animal so that they would get taxed less on their game and livestock. Ach, I, we want less taxes! Upon further investigation, he was only told that it was somewhere else on the Orkney Islands where he couldn't go at that time. Oh, the birds aren't here! Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've heard of that tree, but uh, no, 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 that's somewhere else, but it exists. It's just too, too far away for you to see. So, it kind of just remained a myth. Now, because of documentaries like BBC's Planet Earth, we know that the barnacle goose actually breeds up north in Norway and over in Greenland. It nests on the side of steep cliffs and is rarely seen by people. So this is probably one of the reasons that no one knew where they came from. A perfect launch. And a controlled drop. This is as good a descent as it's possible to make. So, I guess the moral of tonight's bird time story is if you can exploit a goose so that you can eat during times of fasting and you can pay less taxes as well, then it's at least worth a try. Well, that's all we got for the barnacle goose. I hope you guys enjoyed that bird time story. But now, it's getting late and it's time for me to go to bed. Good night, guys. Oh, I don't have one of those. Later. The Bird Bros. Woohoo!